all about how to de-stress. You know, just zen in your life. I know it's been a while since we've done a video, but I have been like extremely busy with nursing school. Um, in the last few weeks, we had finished one of our sessions and we had checkoffs and final exams and we only had a weekend off. And then I came back on the first day of school, took my first Medcoc exam, did my first clinical rotation, and I went in and did my first quiz for one of my classes. So I have been extremely busy with studying and test taking. So nursing school is const it's constant. It's, it's constant work, it's constant test exams, constant checkoffs, constant skills. Like you hardly feel like you ever get a break. So what I personally suggest, and I have learned to do this to help me prevent from having mental breakdowns and crying randomly throughout the day or in the car, have a day to yourself. I don't care what you do that day, you can do absolutely nothing if it's bed all day, you can go out with friends and family, or you can do what me and my boo are doing this weekend, take a small mini vacation. Please, 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 it is a must. You can't continuously go on studying, studying, studying without rewarding yourself or taking your, giving yourself a break because your brain just, it needs time. It needs time off. And I honestly can say that it really helps me because once I take that little break, I can go hard and go into my work and pass my test and really retain the information instead of sitting there staring at the textbook trying to read it, trying to understand it, but I'm so tired or I'm so over it that I don't retain anything. A few other things that I do that help me uh, de-stress is I use eucalyptus. I love lighting candles. If I feel like I'm getting stressed out with the space that I'm in, I change spaces. Like sometimes I get irritated with the room. I actually take my work, my piece of paper, and my study guide, and I'll walk outside. I'll, con I'll constantly do laps in the front yard. It helps. It really helps. Change of scenery. Um, I also, oh, if I'm looking at something and I'm getting frustrated and I know I have to study, I'll step away for about 15 minutes, clear my head, then I'll come back to it. Or if I'm extremely tired, I, I have taken like 30 minute naps and I'll get up and I'll come back to it. I'll come back to my work because if you're tired, you're also not going to retain me. You can't, you can't force the information into your head if you're tired or if you're just not willing, like if you're just not able to focus. Take a break, please. You will do yourself some justice. Actually, research shows that actually taking like 15, 30 minute naps after you learn some information or taking a break after you learn a certain amount of information, actually you retain that information longer. So don't feel like you have to sit down at the table and study that stuff non-stop you're not going to help yourself so if you have any more questions let me know see you next time actually i'll see you next week